Hey guys, my name is Antaria T. Curry, certified personal trainer and founder of Train to a T. And I am coming to you guys because not too long ago, I had posted a video about the top 10 things you should know before becoming a personal trainer. And what I wanted to do was to give you guys another top 10 list of things you should know before becoming a personal trainer, but this is going to be the funny edition. Now, it will be funny, but there will be some truth to this list as well, but hopefully you guys can understand where I'm coming from with this next top 10 list and get a good laugh as well. But just remember, this is the funny edition with a little bit of truth mixed in. So let's get started. And don't forget to stay tuned to the end of the video to see those extra items that just missed the list. You don't wanna miss those. Okay, number 10. Let's just take a moment and thank the Lord for our midday naps. Number nine, go buy a burner phone now. Yes, you will need it because clients will text you all day, all night, anytime, any hour. Go get that burner phone. Number eight, be prepared to hear, I don't want to bulk up. I just want a tone. Or, I want a big butt and a skinny waist. Can you do that for me? And the best of all, can you just get rid of this? Like, just cut it off? No, we are not surgeons. And no, we cannot cut off anything. Number seven, you are not a registered dietitian. Unless, of course, you are. If so, continue on. But if not, just give the basic fitness nutrition and then send them on their way to a professional. Number six, uncertified social media fitness models will probably have more clients than you and probably make more money. Let's just face it. Number five, this just in, those dress shoes in your closet are merely decoration now. Sorry. Number four, you will run into a client at the grocery store or a restaurant. So be prepared with your go-to response when they start frantically explaining those questionable items you're seeing happens all the time. Number three, say goodbye to ever seeing the bottom of your trunk again, because that battle rope, those weights, mats, medicine balls, and other random fitness items have officially taken over. Number two, be prepared for when, not if, a client passes gas. How you respond could be life or death. Seriously. Number one, congratulations. You're a CPT times two, certified personal trainer and certified psychotherapist. Because really, 30 minutes of the latest drama definitely supersedes a 30 minute workout any day. And there you guys have it. The top 10 things you should know before becoming a personal trainer, the funny edition. Now, I know there were some things I missed and I know there's something you guys wanna share. So if there's anything you wanna add to this list, be sure to leave it down in the comment box. I would love to hear your feedback. Also, don't forget, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can be the first to know about my next video. Until next time, guys, see you later. Well, look at you guys staying all the way to the end. There were a few things on that list that I had to nix from the list originally. So these are the ones that didn't quite make the cut. Number one, please, please never wear a G-string to spin class. That just sounds painful. Number two, clients will literally believe and do whatever you say. So use your power wisely. And number three, booty calls should not be a form of payment for sessions. But don't forget, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can be the first to know about my next video. Until next time, guys, see you later.